everybody, it's Will, and welcome to episode 52 of The Zipline Show. This is Ben, and I also add my greetings to this, our final episode of The Zipline Show. In honor of our final episode, we're actually together again, much like our Berlin episode, and so we have a video prepared for you. If you're listening to just the audio version of this, stop now. Go find the video, watch the video. It is a much better thing to be watching and listening. And this time, we're actually planning on having the audio on the video match up with the podcast audio. It'll be great. It'll be like an actual, what's it called? V-cast? Videocast? I guess. Or just video, perhaps. Just video. <laughs> but, I don't know, cast kind of implies. <laughs> we're throwing it somewhere. We're yeah. throwing it on the webs for you to see. Whoopsh. So today is our last episode, and uh, we've done 52 episodes, episode 52, and it's been great. We've enjoyed ourselves. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Have you enjoyed yourself, Will? I have very much enjoyed myself. You can tell by my face not being haggard and sad from not enjoying myself. (laughs) It hasn't been the longest 52 weeks of your life. No. (laughs) In fact, it went by at the same rate as, like, the previous year. Imagine that. Uh, weird. That is weird. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> but we've done 52 episodes, one week, since October of last year. And now it's been a year. And now it's been a year. And it was our goal all along to do 52. And much to our surprise. We did it. We accomplished that goal. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know how that happened either. You know, and we might start up again, I guess, if we get, like, overwhelming feedback from you all, like, start the show again. (laughs) We miss hearing you on a weekly basis. Right, but, you know, otherwise, I think that uh, it was a great project, it was fun, and, you know, all 52 episodes will still be up, you can still go back and listen to them as many times as you want to, it's just that we won't be putting out something weekly. Yeah, so, it's the sort of thing where... We're done for now, it, but we're definitely not opposed to doing more if you want us to, but you have to actually tell us to do more, and a lot of you will have to tell us to do more, but uh, we're definitely not done doing stuff. Like We're going to have other projects, we're just not sure what they are yet, so they might be screencasts, they might be... Videos. Uh, who knows? Uh, um... Blogs. Maybe we'll just start a joint blog together. Ooh, blogging is fun. Right, 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 right. Quick teaser. Project Dawn Ranger. <gasps> Coming next year. Coming a, next year. To a computer near you. It's going to be intense and awesome. Yeah, I'm already thinking about it. I don't want to like, go start buying stuff. For I know. <laughs> I know. I can't believe that's a year away. Project Dawn Ranger. But that's what's big on Will and I's mind. We need to currently. budget for it. Let's put it that way. It's going to be a big enough project where we need to actually budget for it. Yes. That's also why it has a NASA-esque name. (laughs) (laughs) Lend lend some credibility to all the money we'll be spending. If you would like to donate money to make Project Ranger, Don Ranger, a success. Head over to theziplineshow.com. Theziplineshow.com. And uh, there will probably be a little donate button for PayPal. I'm sure we'll get a Project Don Ranger page up soon and then... We'll have donations being accepted there as well. Mm-hmm. But It kind of begs the question if we're going to keep all this under the purview of the Zipline Show or if we're going to spin off into its own thing and leave the Zipline Show compartmentalized. I don't know. Depends if we do more screencasts because those are all Zipline Show screencasts. I don't want to have to make a new title card. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Oh, Yes. <laughs> to have remove the zipline zip line show. Zip. Type in <laughs> new name of project. <laughs> we have to change the music and oh, just we should get a logo. Hey, if anyone wants to do a logo for Project Don Ranger, let us know. We're looking at you, Mike. Does, does Mike We're looking at you, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> does, does Mike still listen to the show? I don't think Crystal even knows I do a podcast. <laughs> Oh, that's a bummer. But hey, those are two of our maybe listeners that we just called out <laughs> on the show. Thanks for uh, for being part of the Zipline show. Unless you didn't hear that, then no thanks. I'm sure they're listening to this, the final episode. Okay. Well, 
what are we going to do for the final episode? Memories. Yeah, we've been debating about what to actually do. We ultimately just decided on kind of a retrospecticus. Ooh, well that sounds even more professional than what I was thinking. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know, just... Memories. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> the zipline <laughs> clip show. We could do a clip show, just start throwing clips in. That would be weird with the video. Because <laughs> <laughs> we would just be sitting here for a second. And, like, we'll, pro we'll probably just keep talking. We won't plan it well enough to actually stop moving or stop <laughs> speaking. So we'll probably, like, I'm tempted to throw clips in now and, like, freeze frame us. So, like, we just stop moving and then all of a sudden it's like. I know. What, they, didn't, they ran out of Latin for naming stuff. <laughs> Aren't dentists doctors? Shouldn't they have really complicated names? <laughs> they ran out of Latin. No Latin left. Everybody go home. We're out of Latin. That's it. Party's over. Okay, so if we're doing... What the heck was that? Something just died over in the corner. Somebody's breaking stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate... We are professionals. We are in a soundproof sound studio. There is no background noise from starting cars happening behind us. It's not an apartment, and we're not in the kitchen. <laughs> no, we are not in the kitchen at we all. We would never do that. We would never do that. <laughs> we are professionals. Precisely. Anyway, Retrospecticus. I don't know what to talk about. There's, We have 52 weeks of episodes. We do. Let's look at some of our old show notes. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll jog our memory. Oh, it's already jogging my memory. Remember episode 00, zero the sound test? <laughs> I do kind of remember that episode so long ago. I know, it was a year ago. It was a year ago. Back when we had we didn't have microphones, we didn't know what we were doing, and it was just us talking on Skype. The audio quality was horrible, I remember that. Yeah. See this awesome microphone right here? Will and I have been using the Yeti Blue microphone uh, for recording. And Will has one. I have one. If you're going to get a microphone, I highly recommend the Yeti Blue. We may or may not have two coming up for sale. Short amount of two. No, this is a beautiful mic. It rocks our faces <laughs> off. And you can even get a nice pop filter for it. You put it in front of the microphone and talk into it. And it avoids the popping sounds of peas and poop. poop, 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 poop. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> Uh, we might have to bleep that. <laughs> but one of the nice things is it has directional directionality. So in normally when we do our show, he has one. We go over Skype, and I'm in Maryland, and I have my other one, and we just have it in the cardoid moid, cardoid moid, cardoid moid, cardoid moid, with the pop filter facing us. But now we're in this uh, bi-directional mode where it's front and back, so we can do interviews and all that sort of stuff. It's really cool. I can't like. I suppose if you had the proper software, you could actually do, like, you could isolate channel recordings in your app, but, like, we're recording, yeah, we're recording in iTunes, so it's a single track with both audio tracks, but you could still export it and split it if you needed to, so, handy in that regard. You're recording with iTunes? No. Did I say iTunes? Uh, yes. I meant to say GarageBand. GarageBand. Which is basically iTunes. Now, I recorded with Audio Hijack Pro. Yep. So I had a slightly different setup on my software end. Audio Hijack Pro um, recorded Skype into one channel and recorded my mic into the other channel. And then I kind of sent my live mic over Dropbox to Will, who would crush everything up <laughs> and make this podcast sound as good as it did. What I used to do was use Call Recorder that would just record Skype and the mic. But then it kind of occurred to me, so, why am I recording with Call Recorder, splitting that into sides of conversations, and then converting to, like, MP3 or something, when I could just record straight into GarageBand? It makes sense to me. I learned. It's called workflow analysis. Ooh. Because we're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, so episode zero through what? Four? Something we didn't have like these that. mics. <laughs> And I remember I had a bear of a time because you were in Lintz, and I had to ship the microphone off to Lintz. So I had to order it in the United States, get it shipped to me, then repackage it and call it a gift. Yep. Because shipping electronics overseas yep. tends to be... A little frowned upon. 
frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to ship him his mic overseas because it was something like, I mean, it was almost double the price in euros. And not just because of the exchange rate, just it was double the price in euros. Probably because it's manufactured. Maybe it's is it made in the U.S. or is it? I'm I don't know. Sure. I don't know. But, but anyway, then globalization. The, the package arrived, and then I had to pay tax on that. So <sighs> to get it from the post office man, I had to like give him monies to pay the taxes, and then I got the microphone, and then everything. A little a little back sheesh, a little postal back sheesh. <laughs> yeah, just a hair. That's the back sheesh <laughs> universal symbol. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you need to bribe a government official, just remember that. Uh, when they're doing this, they want money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, then we actually got nice mics. We did, and I think it was amazing. The call the quality improved dramatically. We still don't really know how to use the mics, and even today. At least on my end, I keep forgetting to check gain before we record, which wouldn't be that big of a deal if I wasn't always moving the microphone around. So, like, some of the episodes, I just, I peak the entire time because my gain was too high. It's like, ah. Uh. I'm guessing that's something only you notice. I never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> the things, and it, but it's true. Like, we were listening to some of our episodes in the car yesterday, and, uh... You know, we were both very critical of ourselves, but not critical of the other person. No. We just, like, no, that's fine. What are we talking about? What are you complaining about? You're good. <laughs> You're good. I suck. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Do I tell them the really funny thing about listening to the episodes? Yes. Yes, I do. Apparently, we are actually the people that recorded these episodes because as we were listening we had reactions in the car listening to our show that were near simultaneous with our formal selves reacting during the recording of the podcast so like we'd be <laughs> listening and i would say something and then ben in the car would like respond to what i had said on the podcast as the podcast recorded ben also says it we each had one in sync moment that I remember. Yeah. It was Whereas really just weird. like <laughs> <laughs> it was disturbing. And I mean it was it was random stuff too. Like I don't even remember the one I said, but it was like I I can't remember any. I guess maybe we just have these like common phrases that we say. Apparently. And, and it was just And it just like responded to them. It was, it was awesome, to say the least. Yeah, it was awesome. Also listening to our segue attempts. <laughs> That was... Hey, hey Ben. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> At least we had them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. A bad segue is better than no segue. Yes, because otherwise it sounds like... Anyway, talking about episode one now. Cyber sexy. Ooh. Yeah. Rawr. You know, the show format even changed a little bit as time went on. It's been evolving. Yeah. Episode one was kind of a... I don't know, it was a little bit of a news show. We talked about the Xbox, or was that during the sound recording, sound test that we talked about Xbox? Quite honestly, I don't remember. That was a year ago. That was a year ago. But we kind of talked about news, and uh, we did a bunch of different type, like topics on the episode. It wasn't until later that we got into like sort of single topic yep. shows. And tried to cover a little bit more focusedness is of it. Mm -hmm. The show had to find itself. It did. As you know, it's any good thing. It's progressive. Mm -hmm. Our final shows, I mean, uh, some of the common fixtures of our shows, like the interlude, the secret word of the week, uh, all that stuff didn't come until much later. I think we established the interlude fairly early on. But, yeah, secret word was, was way back. Oh, hey, you know what? That's oh, interlude was episode two. <laughs> wow. wow. Did we, didn't we record one episode and someone was like, you should include an interlude? Maybe. Is that what happened? I think, I'm pretty sure the interlude, someone suggested that explicitly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, speaking of people suggesting things, I mean, we got, you know, bunches of suggestions for shows. I mean, uh, you guys, we kept asking for ideas and you guys kept giving it to us. You know, with us, uh, the episode on the singularity. Uh, was a listener suggestion. Uh, it was a Ray Kurzweil 2040 Robots Taking Over the World episode. 
Raspberry Pi, which we did not get the interview with, unfortunately. Which I'm still mad about. Um, we worked to schedule an interview, and unfortunately, I guess time zone problems or something. The guy never showed up to to the podcast, but uh, we did. We still did an episode on on him. <laughs> and I mean, I think we actually kind of we came up even on the interviews. Some of our best shows were interviews. Our best shows were interviews. Our best shows were definitely it's interviews. Just... Dave Johnson, Terry Dunlap, Mike Ader, yeah. Paul Laurie. All excellent interviews. Speaking of Paul, <laughs> we recently learned that he may or may not have ever listened to that episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> so, we'll, so we'll just label that as being a fantastic episode and the interviewee doesn't get any input into it. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> if you heard that, don't listen to that episode, Paul. Just keep it in the mystical region of just awesome episodeness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess he didn't really want to listen to himself talk. Uh, fair enough. I can understand that. I can understand that too. I hate listening to myself talk, which is why we've done fifty-two weeks of podcast because we never listen to the podcast. No, <laughs> never. Why would we do that? Dirty little secret. Like aside from me editing, I never listen to the podcast. Really? Yeah. But you have to listen to it a lot while you're editing it. Uh, yeah, it ends up being listened to about twice during editing. Hmm. So I get my fill. But but one thing I notice is that it takes on an entirely different feeling. So a few episodes I have sat down and listened to after the fact, especially uh -huh. like in the car, obviously we did. And I'm consistently surprised at how good stuff sounds. Like while we're recording, I'm kind of like, did I really just say that? Do I sound like a complete idiot? And then I'm editing and I'm going through and it's like, did I really just say that? I sound like a complete idiot. And then like a week later, I listen to the whole thing and it's like, whoa, I sound like a complete idiot. You're saying we age well. Yes. <laughs> Our audio ages well. We're like, we're like a really nice scotch. <laughs> nice. I tend to listen to the episodes two weeks after we record them. So I kind of delay them for a couple of weeks just to kind of forget about what we talk about and kind of forget about the subject matter a little bit so that I can be... Yeah, I do that almost instantly. Do what? Forget, forget about, was, forget about forget the Forget what we talked about. <laughs> so it's like, I can't, every week it's like, I remember last week when we talked about... No, I don't. I don't remember last week when we talked about mm -hmm. whatever. And contrary to popular belief, you know, Will and I actually did a significant amount of research before every podcast. Significant. 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 Yes. We used Evernote. We created show notes. Yes. We did a lot of research on the web. Divided up the show into topics and then just kind of went for it. Ben was the master of show noting. Like, Ben pretty much wrote every single episode layout. He was very much the idea guy. I think he did a good job. At least someone does. <laughs> ben thinks he did a good job, too. Yes, Ooh. yes. But I mean, we did do a little bit of research. Some of our best episodes, though, were like the uh, rocket flight episode <laughs> and the uh, nuclear power episode. Will and I are just nerds, and when we're excited about topics, it becomes very easy to talk about them. Yeah, that's, you know, and, and I really found that when we got suggestions for people, too, because it was something that we weren't necessarily already knowledgeable about. You know, like, we, we've had episodes where we kind of knew about stuff, not really, maybe wasn't the most passionate thing in the world. And, I mean, they, they still turned out to be pretty decent episodes, but I really liked it when we got suggestions. It was like, something new I know nothing about. Plus, it did kind of force us to do research. Yeah. Couldn't slack on it, because it's <laughs> like, I know nothing about this. Let's spend an hour talking about it. <laughs> Just read off the Wikipedia page for an hour. Yeah, that does not make good entertainment. No. I love Netflix customer support. I call them when I'm lonely. Wait, what? That's <laughs> They're nice. that good. Hope you just enjoyed that clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I have to put one there when I edit this. It's going to sound weird. Oh, what else did we do? Um... Towards the beginning of January, I went to ShmooCon. That was also an interesting episode. Uh, I bought an H2 handy recorder mic, which is actually in my suitcase. It's around here somewhere. Over there somewhere now. And uh, went around 
ShmooCon interviewing people. We got an interview with Johnny uh, Cash. No. Johnny Long? Johnny Long, thank you. <laughs> Johnny Cash. That is a different person. That would have been challenging. Well, there is a Johnny C A C H E. Really? Yeah. That's a different person. Okay. Johnny Long. Yes. Johnny Long we got an interview with. That was, yeah, that was a good episode. That was I a good episode, that. yeah. And uh, we went around talking to people at ShmooCon, uh, sort of the hacker stuff. Will was not there for that, but Will did <laughs> come in towards the end. We did the recording for it, and we discussed it sort of newsroom style. Yeah. So ben, kind of ben went and recorded everything, and then after the fact, we recorded the little interlude bits. Yeah. That was a pain in the butt to edit. Sorry. No, that's fine. It turned out to be a, a pretty interesting show, but it was like... Ah, oh, so many audio tiles everywhere. Arrange, arrange. Ah. Yeah. Also, it's really nerve wracking to walk up to someone and be like, "Hey, <laughs> Can you want to be on a podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> we won't make you sound dumb. We mm. promise we won't chop up the little words you say to make you say dirty, dirty things. Yeah, we ended up, we did end up with kind of journalistic tendencies. A little bit spread throughout the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, our interviews were definitely journalistic in nature and it was kind of like a news magazine. We did try to be We tried to be consistent and well organized and unbiased yeah. and newsworthy. We made the attempt. I we definitely failed in some regards because we obviously are people and we have opinions and we're not a news agency, but we we did our best to be not super biased and dumb. Yeah, not editorial. Oh, yeah, that's a good nature. word for it. Look, yeah. look at Ben busting out the journalism terms. <laughs> yeah, but we had and we weren't really journalists. We just had journalistic tendencies. I think I got recognized a little bit. That was a couple of the interviews that we got were just because of our journalistic tendencies. Really? Yes. Oh. Let's just say yes. Okay. Yes. Certainly that's how we approached getting people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to share. Can we share? Yes. Okay. So we did an interview with David Johnson, CEO of... Aquatic Energy? Yes. Aquatic Energy. <sighs> Unfortunately, with the video, I can't just edit that because I have this dumb look on my face for a second. Like, <laughs> anyway... So we did this interview, and through an insane series of events, a grant writer in Chicago somehow heard the show. Like, she, what, what was the deal? She was, she was doing some research on psychology, and she happened to Google a certain phrase, Psychology 101, I think, which was the title of the interview we did, mm -hmm. found our show, listened to it, and she listened to the show, learned about... David Johnson and Aquatic Energy, and actually went down there and was like, hey, I can help you do grants. And I think they got a couple grants. I'm um, not really sure on the details. We just got this message from David. And then uh, the senator from Louisiana went and visited them, and they were on the news. And uh, so that was really good. We're really, really happy for David and the success he's having. And we won't say it was because of the Zipline show. No, we won't say it. But we won't not say that either. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see yeah. what you're <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's things like that where we've had a lot of fun doing the show, but just a little. I mean, it makes us feel good that that sort of thing happened, you know? And hopefully we've, we've been able to touch other people, too, in a good way. Yes. By teaching them things. Metaphorically. Or making them interested in, in subjects they wouldn't have necessarily been interested in, if mm -hmm. it weren't for us. True. And our stated goal throughout this entire show was... We want to get people more involved in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM. STEM. And when we were first considering our, our platform, if you will, our audience, it would be undergraduates who were thinking about pursuing majors or graduate degrees or something like that. That's kind of what we thought. But we had such a, a breadth of subject matter uh, that... We just kind of wanted everyone to be more interested in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And I'd say that was the goal of the show, and that's what we did. I would agree. 
I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we got some of you interested in some of the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and you know, I was always asked by one of our listeners, okay, so how did this show have anything to do with getting people to do a STEM degree? And uh, I don't know. The answer is that we are interested in this stuff, and we love this stuff, and it's all connected. You know, all these engineering, all these disciplines, math, uh, science, computers, you know, technology, whatever people are doing, it's all connected. And, um, you know, if you're interested in one thing, you should pursue it. Very much so. And, you know, I, I, I like to think that we expose people to new things. I mean, we got exposed to new things through listener suggestions. I've learned stuff just doing the show. Mm-hmm. Heck, even just me having an idea, or you having an idea, expose the other person to something that they necessarily wouldn't have seen. Oh yeah, there have been some shows where it was completely (laughs) one-sided. Like, I had no clue what was going on, and it was just Ben carrying me through the snow on his back. And it was like... And, And then there's other shows where Will is just like, going on and on and on, and I'm like, what the... I thought I... This was not what I was expecting for our show. How does he know this? <laughs> they did not teach us this in school. <laughs> Where is it coming from? So yeah, we've definitely had episodes like that. I'm sure that you've heard them and, and laughed. And have very obviously recognized that one of us has no clue what's going yes. on. We won't mention which shows in particular to keep No, you have alive. to figure it out. But we do. we do know our own interesting shows <laughs> that have gone down. But there's actually a good good bit of advice for anybody that wants to do a podcast. Definitely try to do it with someone. Not only to, can you distribute the workload, like Ben took care of bur- virtually all the writing, I took care of all the editing, which was really nice because I didn't have to write and he didn't have to edit. Uh, yeah, I probably couldn't. If, we, if I had had to edit, the shows would have never been published. <laughs> and if I had to have write, the show's they would have been published, but it would have been much less grammatically correct and far less moving and invigorating of the soul. Oh, thank you. We did have some drama, dramatic entrances, closings, lots of made-up words. Lots of made-up words. Lots of made-up words. At one point, I think we started a dictionary, but... I've been updating that with new words. When have you? you pop oh, them on. so we still got some dictionary stuff going. I think we've only got like four words on there, though. Yeah, there's definitely more made-up words than that. But uh, maybe someday we'll just go back and listen to the shows. <laughs> Do like just take notes. Like. Up, update the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable pronunciation of this word. <laughs> yeah, I had a really hard time saying words. <laughs> <laughs> See, our shows have personality. Yeah. Yeah. Weird, crazy personality. Weird, crazy personality. But no, like the ziplineshow.com, definitely go back, check out some of the stuff we put up. I know at one point I did a big news article about how I edit this podcast and what my workflow is, so you can check that out. I put up some of my research on cell phones, oh, yeah. data rates. Which was cool. Uh, so that's there. So there's just and there's a bunch of videos and there's there's tons of extra stuff on there. It's not just fifty two episodes oh. of the show. There's we have the badges app. We did a lot of things in the show. What are some of the side things that we did during the show? Does going to Berlin count as a side thing? Absolutely. Going to Berlin counts as a side thing. So uh, we went to Berlin, took a trip up there. That was a really good time. It was a good time. We recorded an episode up there. Uh, I think it was traveling electronically. Yeah. What was that? Like episode 27 or something? Yeah. It was... uh, No. No? Oh, 21. 21. 21. And... uh, (laughs) I don't think the the title in Evernote is the one that made it onto the show. No, no. <laughs> yeah. The titles of Evernote are just kind of my pre show notey titles that <laughs> are funny. They don't usually match <laughs> the titles that we do on the show. Which in some cases is a good, is a very good thing. Just today we came up with for a title for episode uh forty forty eight. That I think we're betraying when we're recording this with the little clues we've been dropping. You might have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to level with you guys. Don't we're, do it. Lie to them. Lie to them? No, go ahead and level. Sorry. We're recording this early. We definitely wanted to be together in the same room for episode 52. And it just so happens that Ben is out in Minnesota around episode 48 and 49. So we're recording this a few weeks early. I don't know. I, I don't think it's betrayal of trust. We, yeah. we wanted to be together. We had to be together. Plus that, you know, that's the only way we could do video. Mm-hmm. So if you are 
worried or wondering why we aren't saying anything about the disasters of episodes 49, 50, 51. It's because they haven't been recorded yet. <laughs> it's because we don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think they're fantastic. Indeed. Oh, we did do that at one point. Um, Will was moving back to the United States. I was doing some traveling. And so we recorded four episodes, five episodes ahead of time. Our abstentia period. Our abstentia period. And um, we made sure that we published every week. You know, at one point, even Will had to do an episode all by himself. I think you had to do two episodes by yourself to ensure. Yeah, I think so. Episode 19 and a half was one of them. All right, because that was the time that I was on my way to Berlin. Yep. Uh, it was episode 19 and a half. And uh, so because I was in the, in the air. <laughs> I, I <couldn't... laughs> Difficult to record with Ben when he's flying. Yeah. And then, um, then we had another issue where I was not around or involved. Yeah, it was a scheduling problem. A scheduling problem, and Will had to record a show, but, you know, we did go to great lengths to make sure that once a week, every week, we put out... Oh, we're dedicated. Uh, ...an episode. We we may have accident, like, we missed our mark some weeks, not getting it published on time, but we were very good about having it up with the day. Yeah, it was either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday yeah. that these things come up. What else did we do? We did an ad campaign on yes. Facebook. That was a huge learning experience, actually. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, we were going to try to get more listeners, and I actually had $100 to Google AdWords, mm -hmm. uh, like a gift certificate or something, or like it was a promotional thing, and then we did a $50 ad run on Facebook, and the way those ads work is basically you bid on keywords or some sort of page views, and then every time that you get your ad shown, it deducts that bid from your overall advertising budget. So we did about $150 worth of advertising. We have no idea what the turnover rate on that was. We don't know if we got any listeners or subscribers from that, but... Hey. You gotta try. You gotta try. And it, was, it was a good learning experience. It was a good learning experience. You know, actually, I get asked by people now how to run Facebook ads, and I at least have some experience where I can tell them, yeah, okay, let's, uh, this is how you do it, and this is how you measure success. Mm -hmm. You know, I was looking at all the charting with impressions and touches, people actually clicking on the, uh, on the ad... And, uh, I don't know, it was a good learning experience. I learned a lot about advertising, which I didn't really know before. We, we still could have used an advertising person, though. Probably. Some little marketing. For yeah. a long time, we were looking to get a Zippy, some kind of intern for the show. Have them run around on college campuses. Didn't pan out. That didn't work out. That's okay. I mean, you know, it's the sort of thing where you can always have, like, regrets, or like, oh, what have we done this? But I'm very happy with what we did with the show. I don't feel like we missed any opportunities. I I think it's been a real good run. Mm -hmm. Also, we have the badges. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we uh, we did a 99 Designs contest for some badges, and we got some incredible artwork uh, for badges. That was also a good experience, learning 99 Designs, working with designers. And frankly, the badges are going to continue. So if you are pack listening to episodes and you want to earn a badge, feel free. Go ahead. Write us a review on iTunes. Uh, take a picture of yourself in a zipline to show t-shirt, whatever it takes. Really, you could still get almost all of the badges. I think the only one you couldn't get is... Suggest a show idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or be in inter... Yeah, so I mean, definitely you can get nearly all the badges still. Yeah, and we will keep that going. There's no reason for that to, to die. No, I mean, everything's going to stay up. It costs us virtually nothing to be running this. It's like, it's basically down to a domain registration a year, so... Yeah, speaking of t-shirts. That was a good segue. I was just passing it off to you. Talk about t-shirts. We did a t-shirt. <laughs> but you said, speaking of t-shirts. I was like, <laughs> no one said anything about t-shirts, Ben. <laughs> oh, so, oh, sorry. And the badges where you could take a picture of yourself in a t-shirt. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. now speaking of t-shirts. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> See how clever he is. Uh, yeah, so speaking of t-shirts, we still have some t-shirts left over. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to probably give away some of those with our final secret word of the week that will be announced in one of the episodes that's coming up past tense. That One of the episodes in the past, we will have given away a t-shirt. Yes, there we go. But we're, we still have some, so hop over to ZiplineShow.com. You can order one. They're like 10 bucks. I mean, they're dirt cheap, and we don't make any money off them, but they're nice t-shirts, yeah. and they're we're awesome. They're selling them for costs, so... And if you wear them out to a bar, you will definitely get asked about them. Which happened to us. <laughs> Multiple times, in fact. Multiple times, yeah. So, the, I mean, it might have just had to do with the fact that we were all wearing the same t-shirt. 
<laughs> That's why we're not wearing our t-shirts right now, because they are dirty after our night of... I don't think it was because we were all wearing them. Celebratory. I don't think the people that asked us about them even realized there was more than Oh, that we were all wearing them. Yeah. They are interesting. They, so, after episode one, uh, we had talked about... It was called Cyber Sexy, right? We had mm-hmm. talked about the logo of U.S. Cyber Command. Yes. And U.S. Cyber Command has a binary hash of their motto or something around their seal. And so we were pretty tickled about that. <laughs> yeah, tickled. And so we hashed together with an MD5 512 hash our first 16 episodes. And then I chained them together into a block. I made it, I took the hexadecimal representation of that hash, chained them up into a big block, and then cut a Z out of them. Yeah. And stuck that on a t-shirt. And stuck it on a t-shirt. And it actually looks really cool. It is. Interesting. I like it. And actually, we had one guy come up that he was across the bar, and he walks over, and he's like, Oh, man, I came all the way over here to see what that said. And it's like, math. (laughs) I hate math. That's stupid math. I don't know. So, obviously not a mathematician. Probably couldn't have explained to him what MD5 sum actually was, but... Hey, it got his attention. It got his attention, and they're really cool shirts. They're nice and nerdy, so... Exceedingly so. Exceedingly so, so grab one. And then we have a bunch of pictures on Facebook of people walking around wearing Zipline Show t-shirts doing different things, Mm -hmm. and it's awesome. We have snowmobiling, knitting, running... Sitting. Sitting. Standing. Being in Berlin. Laying. Exactly. I don't think we actually have a laying picture. All right, someone needs to go lay on your couch in a Zipline Show t-shirt and send us that. I did not think that far ahead and did some research into the things Ben put on, and now I'm kind of informed about what they do, and I will be sad and depressed the entire show now. Did I just get you to apologize for being well-prepared for the show? God dang it, you did! (laughs) Plus two to Sneaky, sir. I know, the tables are turned. (laughs) Secret War of the Week was also one of the cool things we did. That was a good one. We started that with episode nine, so that's been around almost the entire time, too. Wow, that long. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I've been keeping a list of all of the words. And as a final huzzah, farewell to the Secret War of the Week thing, I would like to read to you all of the Secret Words of the Week that we have had. And a lot of these i had to have some sort of phonetic pronunciation guide in front of me so i now apologize in advance for screwing these up but beginning back in december we had liming chopine asolzi snib pelter horology ver yearly spoilator sticky beak <laughs> lunguingiti i couldn't pronounce that one even with a phonetic guide i don't remember that Chartist, windbound, suffumigation, no, suffumigation, cratch, <laughs> portamento, <laughs> mumper, acharnment, shoop, dauber, burgu, usquaba, punnet, <laughs> leister, overgo, phycology. <laughs> That's a good, that a good word. Fufara, catawampus, lopet, susurration, foivode, Sholium, Shpack, Shprack, Overfall, Muggins, Bigly, <laughs> Aesopian, Barghast, Sinosher, and Chagrin. That's quite the... That's all English. That's all English. That is all English. And I would like to expose my source. My source was most often Wordnik. It's kind of... They have a word of a day, just like Dictionary.com does, but they normally have much weirder words. So... I like Wordnik. They also they're also one of the few dictionary sites that has an API. So if you need a, a dictionary API, check out Wordnik. In fact, I make heavy use of that API, and there's a Python Wordnik library. Really? Yes. Score. And so I highly recommend using Wordnik. I've used I've used it on a bunch of occasions for things that Wordnik probably never even thought that their API would be used for. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to Wordnik. Excellent work. Mm-hmm. Who else do we think? We also have, I mean, we've released this under a Creative Commons. Yep. Share alike. Non-commercial. Like commercial Attribution. And uh, Will says that at the end of every show. Well, I said it once. 
and then just put it on the end of every show. I'll tell them that. They don't know that. You oh, I say it. Know. You've said it 52 times. I say it at the end of every show exactly the same. Indeed. It's pretty incredible. No, that so, yeah. I mean, we did a lot. Everything we did was under a share, like a Creative Commons license. But we also used other people's Creative Commons work. Uh, some of the music we've had was done by Death by Panda. And... Music by Death by Pan. <laughs> we have to go back and listen to the episode. <laughs> Darn it, I forget. We used Death by Pan and one other artist. They both re- released their music under Creative Commons. But anyway, so Creative Commons is a fantastic way to get content out into the world. You still retain copyright on it, but, you know, other people can use it for stuff. Yeah. If you need to release something, I highly recommend it. Okay, let's just words. Even playing a video game can give your game, I hope, that it's... Daniel Bautista and Death by Panda. Daniel Bautista. Daniel Bautista, Bautista that's right. Animation. Yes. So Daniel Bautista and Death by Panda is where we got our all of our music for stuff. And then, like, Wikipedia and all their media that's all public domain or creative commons or is usable in some fashion. That's where all of our pictures came from, basically. What was that? That zipper... The zip scream at the end. Oh, yeah, that's, that's uh, like the best part of the show. That's built into Apple. So yeah, so we have that's the Apple, Apple open source files. So it was good. We learned a lot. It was a great production. and Yeah, we've used a lot of tools Evernote, GarageBand, Skype. I've been editing videos on Final Cut Express. Basically, we've used a lot of different stuff. It's beautiful. I'm it's sad. Beautiful. I'm sad. Oh, we really hope that you guys enjoyed the show. We enjoyed the show. We invested. We invested a year into it and a significant chunk of change. Yeah, it's well, Ben said Ben invested a significant chunk uh, of change. Yeah, no, we both did. But it's uh it's been great. I was I was doing the crying thing, then I realized my eye itched. So now I'm itching my eye. I got your eye. Oh yeah, that's nice. So with that, I think we are now done with the zipline show. The official sign off. The official sign off. But don't worry, there is more to come from us. For sure. I mean Follow us on Twitter. You can get Ben at B. Bangford. And in the video, I'm actually going to put that on there. So you can actually like... Follow Ben here right there. Ready? Holy, there it is. Creepy. That was awesome. That was awesome. You can follow me at Will2041-2041 numbers. You should probably do it. You should probably pull it up. (sighs) Beautiful. A little faster on that one. Okay. (laughs) I'm thinking about how I can edit that in now. It's like, ah! Anyway. Uh, or and also follow the show at the Zipline Show, and if we keep doing stuff under the Zipline Show umbrella, that will remain valid. Otherwise, we'll tweet about whatever new project name we might do. Yeah, the Zipline Show. There will still be tweets coming out on it, I'm sure. So if you're following us, you can also like us on Facebook still, because that's nice. We love having the likes. That's just Facebook.com/slash the Zipline Show. <sighs> And then, of course, you can go to youtube.com slash zipline show. Why is that one so heavy? Because it's YouTube. It's big. Oh, fair enough. That's a big one. Fair enough. Too many bits. Too many, <laughs> too many bits. <laughs> they haven't compressed anything yet. Nah. I see. Nah. They haven't compressed ideas about videos into tiny packages of podcasty goodness. Not yet. Not yet. They need to contact us. Ah, yes. But between all those outlets... And the zipline show.com where everything is hosted. Keep tabs on us. We'll still be doing stuff. And go back and listen to all the episodes again. And again. And again. Anyway, this is Ben and Will signing off. Theme music by Daniel Bautista and Death by Panda, used under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. This podcast is released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike license. For more information about the bands for the theme music, or more information about Creative Commons, please visit our website, thezipblindshow.com. Mm-hmm.